In today's video, I'm gonna show you a little tip that will save you a lot of time when you are cleaning your kitchen. Now, I only recently came upon this little bit of information and I am so excited to share it with you. I think you're really gonna like it. But first, if you're new here, welcome to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. My name is Diana, I am a germaphobe. And if you are new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Also be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. But I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let me show you this hack right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Now, as you can see here, and if you look behind me, I have a lot of counter space. And I have spent a lot of time over the years doing this to clean my counter counters and I'm sure that you have too. That's fine, it's worked well for me for like my whole life, but now I'm gonna show you something even better. So I'm just gonna spray my entire counter, just like we normally would if we were cleaning our kitchen. This is just all purpose cleaner. And instead of wiping it down like I normally would, I'm gonna use a squeegee. Now this is one that I've actually been using in my bathroom for a very long time. But today we're gonna use it in the kitchen. I'm gonna move this too. Now, imagine normally you'd be wiping it back and forth like this, right? And it takes a little bit of time. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it with this. Are you ready? Don't bleak because you might miss it. Here we go. Now there's a garbage can right here and that's where everything went. Let me show you again and let me show you how I do that with the rest of my kitchen. But seriously, isn't that great? I love it. Okay, again, so here is my kitchen counter. I just spray it with all-purpose spray. This helps to get up any sticky or stuck on food particles. Now, if you know there's a lot of things in here that need to soak for a minute or two, then you can spray it, go clean something else for a minute, and then come back and do it, whatever you need to do. Now, I'm gonna do this just a little bit slower, but I just start on one corner, and then I just go back and forth. I am collecting everything as I go. And then I'm gonna stop right here, right there. That is my all-purpose spray, of course, mixed in with dirt and crumbs and anything else that was stuck on my counters. Now, what if you're coming along and there is a dried on hard spot that just won't come up with the squeegee? Don't worry, you actually can fill it really well with this. So if you're squeegeeing across and you feel it, you kind of feel a lip right there where you know that something is there. For example, right here, I mean, I can't really see it, but I could fill it with the squeegee and now I can fill it with my finger. No problem, once you find that, just grab a microfiber cloth and then you clean that up and then you move on. It's actually a little bit easier to find dried stuck on spots with the squeegee than it is a thick full microfiber cloth. So I feel like once I'm done, patch those little dried on spots even better and my counter is so much cleaner. Another option is you could just take your squeegee and use it across the counter and then swipe it right off into the sink. Let me just show you how that works. I haven't sprayed this area yet with all-purpose spray and you can use the squeegee with a dry counter too. It's gonna pick up all of the loose crumbs that are on the counter. So let me just show you again. Take it, I'm gonna turn this corner and then Oh, see that? All of that right into the sink. Of course, it's not really thoroughly clean until I get a spray bottle and clean it properly, which I'm gonna do right now. The squeegee does a great job at letting me know if there's anything on the counter that needs to be scrubbed a little bit more because I'll feel it as the squeegee moves over it. See that? Oh my gosh, I just love this. I'm gonna move these. so that then I can get up into these corners. And I do that when I'm doing a little bit more deep cleaning in my kitchen. I will do that right now. So you can see here how well that squeegee gets right into that corner and then right into the sink where I can then clean out this sink. The only thing I wish that this would do is actually squeegee the sink too. So that's basically it in a nutshell. It is such a fun and easy way to clean off your counter. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe if you are new here. Share this video with anybody that you think will like this video. Now, if you wanna see my routine on how I clean and disinfect my sink every single night, I am going to link to that right here. Click on that video and I will see you over there.